Right now, around 1,900 people are diagnosed with cancer in the North Zone every year, and that is over five a day. We now know that 45% of cancers are linked to factors that we can change. That means that if we work together, we may be able to prevent up to 900 cases of cancer a year. Compared to the rest of the province, we have as much land mass in the North Zone as the whole rest of the province together. That means the people, the relatively small population, it's about 10% of our province, are living quite rurally and remotely. Most people don't have access to a major centre within an hour's drive of them. And this is really challenging for just maintaining basic health things like getting in to see your family doctor regularly, accessing services. It's just so spread out. Another major difference in the North Zone is that we actually have a very high proportion of Indigenous people. So um, the in Indigenous people are also living burly and remotely and uh, their barriers for accessing services are really significant as well. I believe that that understanding what the priorities in the communities are is probably one of the most important things that we need to do. We have a little bit higher than average rates of cancer in the North Zone. We certainly have some of the highest risk factors in the North Zone. I started to look at the risk factors for cancer, uh, smoking, lack of exercise, diet, um, alcohol, and those are the very same risk factors for all the other chronic diseases. And I realized that whereas cancer is big, if we actually could act on these risk factors, we could prevent most of the chronic disease. And so we really need to be able to get to those communities and talk to folks about their health uh, and provide them cancer screening services where they live. The mobile health unit is a really unique tool. When you drive into a community with a big van, with prevention messaging on it, it gets people's attention. It makes them curious and it increases the chances that they're going to come up to you and open up a conversation about screening and prevention. And that's what we really need. A lot of the people in the community don't have transportation. Some of them might not have family members that can take them to appointments, which the closest would be Peace River or Grand Prairie and then of course Edmonton. When this mobile clinic comes out, it's actually very useful for a lot of the people. The unit itself acts as that conversation starter. Spending a lot of time connecting with people and really understanding their relationship um, to their community and services available and ones that aren't and how we can correct that and build those partnerships is really, really important. The community is accepting of our way of doing things. I feel like, you know, we're building relationships, which is, ultimately important in the work that we do in the communities. When we first started, uh, there was a, maybe a handful of people that we started with, and every year it continued to grow. So as of today, I'd say attendance has at least tripled. The feedback we get for that is really good. The community is calling throughout the year, when is the clinic coming, when can I start booking? Bringing the mobile health unit out, I think we are increasing the amount of people that are, are being screened because we're talking to them about the importance of being screened and why. Why do we need to be screened? I think it's increased the amount of appointments that they're seeing. It's helpful to have everyone together so we're not all working separately on the same issue. You gotta have all of that family support, and that's the most important thing. They've been there for me. If I need something or need to go somewhere to see a doctor for a checkup and whatnot, they'll either come with me or, uh, you know, they're there. If I need to talk to them about how I feel, they're there for me to talk to. And have a family doctor, because your family doctor knows you and they want to treat you. It's like your kind friend, kind of. It's no use getting scared because uh, the, the earlier it's diagnosed, the better off you are. Coming to the community, you have a better conversation with people. You have uh, more time. You find out more about what, what it is that they want within their community for cancer screening pre and prevention information. So we're providing information on when you should be screened. We talk a lot about like what's going to happen, like how does the screening take place, what you need to do to be screened. There's a lot of cancer in the communities now, so people are kind of 
well, maybe I should get tested. And so they come out more, I find. Many, many communities don't have access. And uh, the idea of us being able to bring those services to people so that it can reduce late detection, that saves lives. So right now we're really working on how we can partner with communities. We have a lot of participation from our programs and services, from our administration, from our council. The council is on board with the project completely. I think it's important that we talk with communities, that we share the information so that we can help them sustain their wellness. Screening is working after the fact, after you've already have something going wrong. If we can talk with people before they have a health crisis, we have a chance to divert the crisis before it even happens. We're implementing a good food box program starting this month where community members have the opportunity to pay $20 into a good food box. In turn, with that $20, they get a good food box filled with um, healthy foods and recipes worth $60. The other thing we talked about was having kids collective kitchen so that the kids can start learning how to make healthy things for themselves before they get older and be able to prevent cancer when they're older. For exercise, we already have a paved walkway. We're thinking of opening that up more for people to be able to sit down. Right now, we don't have any benches at all. So what we were planning to do, probably for next year now, to build a couple of benches with a roof, a UV protected roof, uh, garbage bins, because right now we don't have any of those. It's just the walkway. I've seen a lot that they've been using it, walking, running, and it's been good so far. Like, people love the walkway. We're really looking at how do we, how do we get to a place of wellness more so than just cancer prevention and screening. How do we really come together as a community and provide a well way of being. <laughs> That's what they will say. Boys and Gapoga taxi with tie. <laughs> um, <prevention>, uh... <laughs> um, that seems weird. <laughs>